In this video, I'm filming a little tutorial for you guys using this Too Faced uh, Cinnamon Bear little set. I really hope you guys like this look and video. Uh, if you do like it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe it down below if you're new to my channel. Also, let me know in the comments what other videos I'd like to see from me next so I know what to film for you guys. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and all my other socials. I'll have them here somewhere on the screen and listed it down below in the description box. So you can keep up to date with me on the daily. So yeah, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see, I've done my brows off camera and I did this eye as well. Just to try and get the look I wanted to and then I can just replicate it onto this eye. So firstly, what I'm going to do is go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Beige and just prime my eye. And I'm just going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Setting Powder and just setting my base. Okay, and now I'm going in with the Too Faced Cinnamon Bear Palette from the Cinnamon Bear Christmas set. First of all, the packaging is so cute. I adore it. And the inside, I will show you guys all the shades. So here is a close-up of the shades. They're very warm tone, very full vibes. I like that there aren't too many shadows in here, so it's pretty easy to work with. And I love how they worked on this eye. So I'm super excited to show you guys how they work. So first, I'm going to go in with this big, fluffy, diffused brush. This this is the Morphe E23 brush and I'm going to go in with this shade here called Bear Hug and what I'm going to do is just focus this shade onto the outer corner but slightly bring it into the crease as well and this will just act as my transition shade. And I'm also just like really smoking it out on the edge because I do want it to come past my like eye line. And now I'm going to go in with this brush here. This is very similar but slightly more pointed and this is the Morphe E27 brush. And I'm just going to go in with this more red shade there called Red Hot. And again, focusing this to the outer corner of my eye and not bringing this one into the inner half of my crease as much as I did with the last shadow. Because I want to keep the darker shades towards the outer corner. You guys, look at that pigment. It's so good. And be very careful when using this shadow. So I'm just going to go back in with my first brush to just blend out the edge. Now I'm going in with kind of like a mini version of that last brush I used. It's just a more pointed diffused brush but much smaller and I'm going to go in with the deepest shade here called Chocolate Dipped and literally just apply this into the outer corner and also blend it out. Now I'm going back in with the E27 brush and that red shade and just blending the shadows together. Now going back in with the first brush and shadow, I'm just going to continue blending. Just more so the edge of the shadow, make it a bit more smoked out and make sure everything is blended seamlessly. Now going in with a flat shader brush, I'm going to pick up this light matte shade here called Cereal Milk and just apply that to the inner half of my lid and even bring it like into the crease. I'm just going back in with my first brush to continue blending everything. I'm now back in with the small brush and the deepest shade Chocolate Deep. I'm just going back in with that to bring back some of the darkness that might have gotten lost with all that blending. And I'm still just going to stick with this small brush. I'm going to go in with that Red Hot shade, do us more of that red matte shade and add some of that in too. And again with the first brush, just blending everything together and really smoking it out. Alright, so now I'm just going to grab a makeup wipe and clean up underneath my eyes and the edges of my eyes as well. And you guys see how much my eyebrows just drop? Like, sometimes this happens, sometimes it works perfectly fine. So, I don't know. Please let me know if you guys have a little solution. Alright. 
Alright, so now I'm going to do most of my face makeup off camera. I'll come back to do the blush because there is a blush in this palette. But if you want to know what products I use on my face, check out my Instagram. I'll have them all listed on there as usual. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so now I'm back and my hair is looking like a mess. So please ignore that. But now it is time to do the blush. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH06 brush. This is my favorite blush brush. And I'm just going to go in with the blush from the palette called Cinnamon Bear. And I always like to start it from the top of my cheekbone and bring it down to the apples of my cheek just because I feel like that gives my face a more elevated look. And I always like to apply some over my nose. Oh, that was a lot. Onto my forehead as well. I'm just going to blend out the nose blush because that was a lot. This blush is pretty damn pigmented, I must say. And I'm just going to go back in with my bronzer brush. But not picking up any bronzer. Just to bring it back a bit because that blush was super pigmented. And I feel like I got rid of the bronzer a little bit. I like kind of like just blended the bronzer out so there we have it I'm just also gonna get back in with my highlight to re-highlight my nose because after applying the blush there it kind of disappeared all right so now let's zoom back into the eyes to finish them off also please ignore my eyebrows I'll fix them once I have completed the look also I feel like there's an eyelash in my eye right here so I already know this eye might get messed up because it might water guys can you see that already? Okay, we're just gonna have to work with it. Hopefully, my eye won't get too messed up. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up an angled, this is a brow brush, but I'm just gonna use it for my shadow. And I'm just gonna pick up this deep brown shade, chocolate dipped, and just pack that onto the outer half of my lower lash line. And now to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm actually going to mix those two shades together. So, Bear Hug and Red Hots. I'm just going to pat over that so there's no harsh lines. Oh, look at that go. Now, I really wanted to go in with a brown liquid liner to do kind of like that inverted thing in the inner corner. But with this eye playing up, I don't know. I'm going to do that. You know what? I'm going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Ice Me Out Highlighter. I love this thing. And I'm just going to highlight my inner corners and my brow bones. Also, I'm going to actually spray my brush with some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm literally just applying it to the arch of my brow bone. Now going in with my Morphe E27 brush I used for my transition shade. I'm just going to blend out the harsh line from the brow bone highlight. And look at how quickly and perfectly and easily that just blended out. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go for it with the brown liquid liner and try to do that in a wing thing. Whatever, I'm just gonna try on this side first. If I don't think it's going to work out, I won't do it on this side, so let's see. You know what? I'm going to leave it because I think it's going to be a fail. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. This is like my good side anyway, so whenever I take photos, I always take photos on this side, so if I stuff up that inner corner, like, you're literally not even going to see it. Now it's time to curl my lashes. And now going in with my Fenty Beauty Mascara. And now just off camera, I'm going to get in with my Morphe lashes in the style Hypnotic and just apply those and I'll be right back to finish up the look. And I'll also just apply my mascara to my bottom lashes. Alright, so now I'm back and I'm going to do my lips. In the Cinnamon Bear set, it comes with a red lip, but I'm not going to use this because I don't think it really matches the shadow that I've got on at the moment. But I'm going to go in with more of like a brown shade i think so i'm gonna go in with the kylie cosmetics by chloe kardashian the coco collection uh this is the lip kit in the shade handbag co so the lip liner is a little bit of a deeper brown and the liquid lipstick is a bit lighter so that just gives your lips more of a fuller look when you go in with a darker liner also i'm obsessed with the pink packaging you guys know pink is my favorite color and i love this little pb pink so yeah
Okay, now I'm gonna get in with the liquid lipstick. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna go in with the bare liquid lipstick, but also by Kylie Cosmetics and just tap over that because this is a bit more pink and I feel like it will really match the shadow. Okay, this lip combo just literally matches the shadow perfectly. And I'm just gonna blend the liner in with the lipstick now. Just so it's not like a harsh line. Now, should I apply gloss or should I leave it matte? That is the question. I know, I'm kind of thinking of gloss. I will leave it for now. I'm just going to apply some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to set my face. Okay, so now I'm going to try and quickly fix my brows and I'll be back to apply some gloss if I decide to do that. Okay, so I just decided to apply some gloss and I just used the Morphe by Madison Beer Gloss in the shade Jupiter. This is just literally a clear gloss and I really like it though. I use it a bunch. So yeah, this is the completed look. Also, I fixed my brows and they look so much better. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I really like this look and I hope you guys liked it as well. The blend is incred and yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me next. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one.